don't need no education. Or maybe we do. Can you hammer a six-inch spike through a board with your penis? Not right now. A girl's got to have her standards. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 college-themed movies. Wait, am I on glue, or did we not get into the same law school, Warner? For this list, we're choosing memorable, feature-length films and big-screen movies that are based in and around colleges or universities. My brothers could be watching me right now. Just ask me about my wiener, please. Number 10, Pitch Perfect. I want to produce music. I want to make music. Done. But you're going to get a college education first. We like the way they worked it. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I got a bag it up, baby. This musical comedy proved that yes, bad girls and bad boys of acapella do exist. Once the fashionable Bard and Bellas discover that Becca Mitchell can get down with a little sangin', a vocal supergroup is formed, and together they trounce the competition like nobody's business. I mean, you're welcome. Pitch Perfect dropped a remix on the typical themes of collegiate flicks and had viewers bouncing along and lip syncing to a grand total of 113 million. Um, excuse me, mm -hmm. but you guys are gonna get pitch slapped so hard, your man boobs are gonna concave. These students had such an incredible a cappella swag that they returned to theaters in 2015. The Sopranos, Jessica, Mary Elise, Lily. The Mezzos, Cynthia Rose, Stacy, Corey. And our Altos, Fat Amy, Denise, Ashley, and Becca. Number nine, Real Genius. These girls are not used to geniuses. You might impress them. With fluffy blonde hair, a slacker attitude, and mad physics skills, Chris Knight was the unassuming centerpiece of a CIA mission gone wrong. Why do I bother? After a lazy and devious professor teams up with new university student Mitch Taylor with a real genius to work hard on a laser project, college pranks ensue, and the student's screwballs are caught hardly working. I I've been thinking about your laser solution. Oh, good. I, I figure y you've increased the power output to six megawatts? Yeah, about that. Well, what would you use that for? Making enormous Swiss cheese? The satirical comedy turned Val Kilmer into Hollywood's next big thing as the titular genius with a questionable wardrobe. So you're flying with Iceman, huh? It's Mr. Iceman to you. Hey, Mother Goose, how's it going? Number eight, back to school. I'm going to college. What do you think? This comedy's all about the belly flops and bad boy antics. As the wealthy son of an Italian immigrant and father of a diving team towel boy, Thornton enrolls at Grand Lakes University to save his relationship. When I used to dream about going to college, this is the way I always pictured it. Wait a minute, when did you dream about going to college? When I used to fall asleep in high school. But rather than saving money like most students, he dishes out the dough for favors and a Kurt Vonnegut research paper written by Kurt Vonnegut. Hi, I'm Kurt Vonnegut. I'm looking for Thornton Mellon. Rodney Dangerfield killed it as the fast-talking and slightly obese freshman who also helped middle-aged men relive their glory years of collegiate hot tubbing. Well, boys, what do you think? Woo! Got a hot tub in there. Well, how can you study if you're not relaxed? We gotta give the guy a little respect. I know you. Oh, yeah? Here's a pet. <laughs> you do those obnoxious commercials. You're tall and fat. Yeah, we well, are short and ugly. Give me the pen back, will you? Number seven, 22 Jump Street. You two sons of bitches are going to college. Hey, girl, you want to kick it with a little slam poetry? You're going to MC State. We're going to college, for real? Morton Schmidt and Greg Jenko went deep undercover for this hilarious sequel and found out that college isn't all about shotgun and beers and partying hard. I'm the first person in my family to pretend to go to college. Well, it is. But there are other things to do, too, like getting your butt kicked by an angry female roommate while in a Hawaiian shirt. How about this? You want a little fun? What is oh, that? Get wet, baby! So much lube in my face! Yes, Jonah Hill's character was thrown around the room by his girlfriend's protective roommate while Channing Tatum displayed his finest collection of black shirts. Hilarious shirt that signals we drink alcohol. These two cops accomplished very little while in college, unless you count getting crunk as a 9-to-5 job. The guy's all time. The guy's, let's be honest. I mean, like, he was opening up beer cans with his eyeballs. Number six, Legally Blonde. Hi, Woods, comma, L. Whether it's a role in a Ricky Martin video or acceptance into Harvard Law School, Elle Woods knows how to chase her dreams. A law student. In this comedy, Reese Witherspoon stars as a bombshell sorority girl who switches coasts for love, only to find heartbreak and ridicule on campus. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Even so, she ultimately stuns haters with her academic swag and exceptional work ethic. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. It's not hard to love Elle. And Witherspoon's performance reminded college students that it takes more than good looks to reach your goals. The rules of hair care are simple and finite. Any Cosmo girl would have known. Number five, old school. In other words, 
You need to forget about all the normal rules that apply to both college and society. Surprise! After discovering his girlfriend in a compromising situation, Mitch Martin puts his boring life on pause to reflect. I'm 30 years old. None of us are enrolled in the college. Okay. But thanks to his devious pals, Frank and Bernard, he reawakens to a brave new world of college life. I need a little time to get my life back together. What we need to do is throw like a big kickoff, like kick-ass party to Absolutely. start things off here. Break it in a little, meet the neighbors, yeah. right? Through strategic planning and shameless promotion, the friends launch a fraternity along with an epic celebration known as Mitchapalooza. Give a warm Harrison University welcome to my pal and your favorite, Mr. Snoop Dogg. Topless wrestling, Snoop Dogg, keg stands. Old school had all of the elements of an instant college classic. We're going streaking through the quad and into the gymnasium. Come on, everybody! Maybe it was the bromance, or maybe it was the confused demeanor of Frank the Tank, but this flick had college kids crying from laughter. Number four, the social network. These girls, right or left? Left is left. You know the story. Smart Kid goes to university, Smart Kid has fun, and Smart Kid becomes a mega billionaire before his 30th birthday. You know, you really don't need a forensics team to get to the bottom of this. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg was the subject of David Fincher's Oscar-winning film, and Jesse Eisenberg starred as the boy genius who envisioned the way of the future. Relationship status, interested in. This is what drives life in college. Are you having sex or aren't you? It's why people take certain classes and sit where they sit and do what they do. The social network broke myths about the enigmatic Facebook founder, along with movie theater cash registers from coast to coast. However, a bigger question remains. When will Mark Zuckerberg join our 7 million plus subscribers and become a mojo holic? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, we're gonna need more money, Marto. Yeah, no, I agree. More servers, more help. I'm interviewing two interns to come to Palo Alto and we're gonna have to pay them something. Number three. National Lampoon's Van Wilder. My name is Van Wilder and this is my home, Coolidge College. With a strong loyalty to collegiate life and a horrifying sense of humor, this sophomoric slacker couldn't grow up. Don't be a fool! Stay in school! Van Wilder raised funds through various means on campus to continue his carefree antics. But life became tricky when he was confronted by a ravishing student journalist named Gwen Pearson and her boyfriend with an unfortunate name. You must be pre-med dick. Yeah, that's right. Van Wilder offered plenty of collegiate madness to make viewers howl for 92 minutes, or 94 if you have the unrated version. This school has given me so much, let me repay Coolidge. By parting ways as a graduate. The film also jumpstarted the career of Ryan Reynolds, and the rest is history. Most people want to get out of school so they can make money. You're trying to make money to stay in school. Number two, Revenge of the Nerds. Come on, Gilbert, let's go to college. The 80s were a magnificent time for raunchy, sophomoric flicks, and few were greater than this story of nerds on a mission. Well, anyway, oh, college God. is a whole new ball game. Oh, oh, God. God. oh God. As best friends destined to rock the world of computer science, Lewis and Gilbert found themselves slightly off track once the realities of college life sunk in. Well, let's get those nerds! 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 With help from the supremely quotable Dudley Booger Dawson and the enthusiastic javelin affectionado Lamar, the gang seeks redemption against a group of unscrupulous jocks. You put what? Liquid heat. On their what? In their jocks. Although the sequels weren't as hilarious, this film became an essential ingredient for any dorm room movie collection. And our new fraternity, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Before we unveil our top pick, I was way too fast. I'm pretty furious. Wait, a little bit too furious. Here are a few honorable mentions. Amanda needs to start minding her peas and shoes. The trick to surviving Wellesley is never getting noticed. Ciao, Mona Lisa. I'm here to talk to you about playing football for Notre Dame. Well, our walk-on tryout day was two weeks ago. I'm not talking about this year. I, I, I was thinking more about next next springtime. What, what South Harmon? South Harmon is it's a college, just a very small college, no, tiny, tiny college. That's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole world? Why did you sneak around at night and finish other people's formulas that only one or two people in the world could do and then lie about? It? Is that just beer? Primarily. Although I gather the two of you stays a little raid on the Crabtree Pharmacopoeia. Number one, National Lampoon's Animal House. At the height of his Saturday Night Live fame, John Belushi starred in this modestly priced film that became the quintessential college flick. 
I'm a zit. Get it? Today, you'd be hard-pressed not to find a fraternity house that doesn't boast a poster of Bluto Blutarski, the man who knew how to fight for his right to party. <laughs> Animal House captured the essence of collegiate thrills while inspiring new ways to entertain. I get... It wasn't necessarily the fate of Delta Tau Chi that concerned audiences, but rather the modus operandi. They talked the bar! The whole fucking bar! As one of the funniest films of all time, John Landis' cinematic portrait of American college life should be part of each and every SAT exam. Ah, thanks. I needed that. Do you agree with our list? Dr. Hathaway's gonna hear all about this. You know, you'll rue the day! What's your favorite college or university-themed movie? Love you, man. No, man. I love you. For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apps? <laughs>